the part one on the history of political party for today's lesson. This is lesson number one, the democratic president. President Franklin Roosevelt created the social security in 1935. His term as president was from 1933 to 1945. Lesson number two, the Democratic president, Lyndon Johnson, created Medicare in 1965. His term as a president was in 1963 to 1969. Social Security and Medicare are the two most expensive programs in the world, world history. Lesson number four, Republican president, Dwight Eisenhower, his term was from 1953 to 1961, and U.S. was a rich nation. It was the world's biggest creditor nation. Lesson number five, Republican President Richard Nixon, his term was from 1969 to 1974. And now, during 1971, the rules of money change. The wealth of the USA changed. In 1971, President Nixon took us off from the gold standard. And this converted our dollar from being money to now a currency. So currency means it needs to move. It needs to travel. So what is the velocity of your money? How hard and how fast is your money working for you? Lesson number seven, President Nixon allowed the government to print a lot of money. For what? To solve the problem. Now, this is the same. This is lesson number eight. This is the same as us writing checks without money in the bank. And so if we did what the government is doing, which is printing money, then what's going to happen to us? We're going to be in jail. So one of the reasons, lesson number 10, why there is a growing gap between the wealthy and everyone else is most of us, most of us, which is in the everyone else category, are still operating, working in the old rules of money. Old rules. Remember, 1971, we were taken off the gold standard. So money now, the dollar from being money, it now became a currency. So after 1971, the new rules of money took over. So now we can see why the wealthy are becoming wealthier and everyone else are working harder. Why everyone else are working harder? Because we are staying safe. We are parking our money. We are not making our money flow. We are not letting it um, work harder and work faster for us. Remember, we, the currency, the dollar was taken off from the gold standard, as a gold standard. So then the dollar now became a currency. With currency, that means it's a current. It needs to move. It needs to circulate. So how fast is our money working for us? How fast is our money working harder for us? That's the question we should ask each and every one. If we see this, this gap here, this is where the wealthy lies. And this is where all of us lies. And this is the gap and it's growing every day because why most of us are playing the old when the new rules of money is, is now um, the, the one we have to follow. The new rules of money took over after 1971 when the gold was no longer a standard. So that's what we should ask ourselves. How hard is our money working for us? And how fast is our, mo is our money working for us? So that's today's lesson. 
And on our next Alka and Ria show, I'll be sharing with you the second part of the history of the political party. Ria, thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. Wow, guys. I hope you took a ton of notes because there was value in there how your currency, you do not, we do not have to park. We, it needs to move. It needs to circulate. So currency, current, mm -hmm. uh, you know, think of current, current moves, you know, flows like in the river, the stream, it flows. So do not park our money, make it moves, put investments is another Perfect way. Would you say Ria put in investment? That is correct. Yes. Put it in investment. Now, if you do not know what you are doing, stack it, meaning accumulate a lot of money. Get time to learn on what investment class you want to invest on. Because if you do not know, then you're calling it gamble. And I do not like to gamble. Exactly. I don't think no one likes to gamble. Uh, so, you know, learning how to invest your money in the proper channels is really going to lead you to, um, you know, learning everything that we are teaching you about money, how it's done, what to, you know, play the new, get new rules of money rather than being in the old, playing in the old rules of game, um, game of money and, you know, when it comes to wealth, Ria, I think it's very important that, um, you know, we try to get our heads gripped around this because very often, you know, we could be uh, misled in so many different ways that, you know, we talked about earlier on with these political parties, right? Whoever's in power, we think, okay, that is who we need to listen to. So because knowing, it will change our lives, right? We, we depend that, you know, we hope that this political party will make our lives better. But in fact, we ourselves will make our lives better. Well, exactly. I mean, we we tend to listen to the political political parties because we, we trust them. That's why we voted for them in power, because they're going to do a good job. But it's not necessarily that they do a good job. I mean, quite often, for my belief anyway, right, They, we vote them in power and they want to be voted in. But that's not necessarily that they're going to do the work that they had set out to do. You agree with that, Ria? I agree. So we rely always on our house and not the White House. Exactly. Our house is the White House, and that's the house that we need to pay attention to, friends. That is the house we need to pay attention. And as long as we've got our money covered, working, making sure that the money is current, money is constantly moving and not parked, and learning about the new ways of money and not the old ways will set you to the path of success. So, Ria, thank you. And friends, we have come to the end of another show. I don't know where the time goes, but we love having fun with you. It really is. 